Hi, this is Rick Menars, and I want to take you into a first look at the Facebook graph search. And the beta started earlier this month. I was invited uh, into the beta, and I figured I would share it with you since most of you probably do not have it activated yet. And it's a pretty neat feature that was introduced uh, last Wednesday by Facebook, um, actually last Tuesday at a media event. And right away, once you opt into the beta, the first thing you'll notice is that your the top bar changes. Uh, here, the, the, the new uh, friend notification, the, the discussions, and the notifications in general, that used, part that used to be up to here, now moves to the right. This becomes a, biggest, a bigger part of the whole thing. And if you notice, if you put your, it has a mouse over feature where the Facebook logo, once you come up here in the search box, it becomes the search, you know, the magnifying glass. And all you have to do is just basically click in there, and here it gives you some options. You can look at stuff like my friends, photos of my friends, restaurants nearby, games my friends play, music my friends like, photos I like. So let's just like music my friends like, and it'll tell you like artists of stuff you like. Uh, you know, some, some of the more popular artists that your friends like, and it's actually taken a little while to do this. Uh, but here we get, uh, you know, a, a kind of an overview on the friends' music that they like. But you can actually go more specific. Like, let's say, um, my friends who like Van Halen. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, you know, let's say Van Halen's come to town and you want some friends to go to a concert with. Uh, so it fishes around for you, and, and there you go. Here you have a, a you know a few friends uh, of your of your friends who actually have designated Van Halen as a band that they like. Um, so you can begin looking through that, and you can even dig deeper. Uh, let's say uh, my friends who are um, let's say Republican. If you were you know tired of the left versus right stuff happening on Facebook and you happen to be Republican or you happen to be a Democrat or you happen to be and you want to just find out, you can look at it that way. Um, you can also, and this is where it gets really cool, you can go to Friends of Friends. And let me tell you why this is useful. Uh, let's just say Friends of Friends who are dentists. And this is where this may come apply. Let's say your molar's really acting up and you need a dentist and you don't have a dentist but you don't want to just go into the phone book or go into your uh, you know if you have a dental plan w blindly pick any dentist um, you want to see someone who actually is a friend or a friend of a friend uh, since you may not know it who can refer you to the friend and let you know hey is this guy any good um, you can do that here and here you know it, it, it's I, I don't know I think I know maybe of this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen I know just one of these fourteen people or, or my own friends so you get a good cross-section of people and you can even limit it to themselves who are dentists um, in Miami uh, you know and, and narrow it down to exactly where you are and maybe, uh, I don't know if that'll actually narrow it down by too much, but you can actually go by location. Um, and rather than even wait for this process to go through, um, I'm gonna go on to a new search. Uh, let's say friends who like sushi. So let's say, uh, you know, uh, um, I'm hungry, I wanna eat some California rolls here. Here are some friends who like sushi as far as their favorite preferences of food. And you can do also friends of friends, which may get a little funky because if you do friends of friends, uh, now friends of friends who are single, you can do something like that. Let's say you are single, um, and or hopefully you are single. I'm not, you know, this isn't Ashley Madison or anything here. Uh, friends of friends who are single, you can actually go out there instead of actually seeing your friends that are single. Here it tells you a lot of people, you know, and there's this page is usually going to be pretty full. And then if you're interested in anybody here, you can actually just constant, you know, find the mutual friends. You know, find out who the mutual friend is, contact, and they will be your friends. You can contact them uh, to, you know, tell them, hey, can you introduce me to this person? Uh, I think we may have a lot in common, at least going by just a single snapshot on Facebook. So that's basically an overview of what the, the graph, you know, searches. And obviously the name is pretty hokey. Um, in of itself, uh, you think of graph, you think of maybe it's like a paragraph, but it's actually based on the social graph, uh, which is just basically saying, you know, the, the social graph of the internet where people can be connected uh, through social networking. Uh, and, and you have a billion active Facebook users right now, and they within themselves have more than a trillion active connections between them and, and, and likes and stuff like that. Uh, so it's a pretty impressive uh, process here. 
Uh, and even though it's not really getting a lot of play because they think, well, gee, it's not really that much of a game changer, it is. Because, um, you know, if, if, you if you go back to the search thing and let's say you're, you're you know, restaurants nearby and you can pick restaurants nearby but it's not just giving you restaurants it's giving you places uh, you know th you can have friends that actually like these places like like a cheesecake factory in outback or you know red robin and stuff you know the nearby restaurants it these features are going to get better and i think it's going to get better especially as more people start using it as facebook introduces maybe something like a being able to rate these restaurants um where people can actually submit things and you're already starting to see you see there's there's a rating right here right you see that Yes. Um, so you're starting to see stuff where Facebook will become maybe not entirely a replacement of Yelp, um, but it will be. Uh, it could also be used, uh, you know, for, uh, and I don't want to say that Facebook is going to kill LinkedIn because it's not, but you can always put in, let's say, friends of friends who are lawyers. And in this case, you could find out. Let's say you you just got out of law school and, and you, 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 need, you need a job. Um, you know, you, now you have, if, you know your friends are attorneys, you know most of them are not, but you know that they have friends who have friends who are attorneys, and you can find out here, uh, you know, a wide assortment of friends who just happen to be attorneys. And you can contact the, the mutual friend, tell them, hey, um, do you know if they're hiring, if they're, if, they're, if they're a partner at a firm that's hiring, um, anything like that, any profession, friends of friends who are teachers, friends of friends who are think People are gonna learn to rely on this, uh, you know, graph search. Despite the name, um, they're gonna learn to rely on it because it really accomplishes a lot especially when you need something uh, instead of going to many other you know blindly going through you know search websites and stuff to find something you can able be able to tap your friends and the, as resources to find things out there so you know if you want to find out if a good restaurants out there sure you can go to yelp.com uh, and get great reviews uh, but those are gonna be from strangers you know you can actually get the people that you like and people that you can actually tell them hey you told me about this place you were wrong or hey thanks for this recommendation you were right uh, anything. If there's a show coming up, uh, you can get people together. Uh, just so many things are possible with graph search. And right now, it's just scratching the surface. Uh, you know, Facebook Facebook stock actually took a hit after announcing this because people were actually expecting more. But I think, and, and you can watch this video. Maybe you're watching it months or years from now after it's been posted. You're going to see how important graph search was for Facebook. Um, it really is a game changer, and I think it's something worth watching, uh, you know, now and in the future.